Hi, my name is Richard Rice. I'm a PGA golf professional. In this video, I'm going to talk about fixing your divots. Stay tuned. Okay, so your term of the day is angle of attack. An angle of attack is basically describing the angle that the club comes down into the ground or into the back of the ball. So we could have steep angles of attack and we could have shallow angles of attack. Um, what I see on a day-to-day -day basis in golf lessons is that many players out there have this very steep angle of attack. They're taking these deep gougy divots and it's coming from some, some errors that they're making in the backswing, sometimes in the downswing. So today, if this sounds like you, you're taking those steep and gougy divots, or if not, you're standing up out of the shot to avoid taking that divot and you start topping it quite a bit. Listen in, this is going to be for you. So again, it's all about angle of attack. We're trying to figure out why your divots are steep and gougy. And really what it boils down to most times is spine tilt, right? So we, we set into our dress position with this certain amount of tilt in our spine away from the target. And many of you lose that tilt and you begin tilting your spine towards the target. Well, you can see if I exaggerate that, how that's going to force me to swing more straight down into the ground. So now all of a sudden, my hips are trying to catch up, but they don't get there in time, and my club's coming steeply down into the ground, so I'm taking these deep divots. So we want to talk about how to maintain that proper spine tilt in the backswing and into the downswing. So what you can do is first understand why your spine loses its tilt. And for most players, it's an action where the trail hip moves away from the target. Now, I set into this position, I have this spine tilt right here away from the target. Now as soon as my hips move away from the target, my spine tilts in the complete opposite direction and now I'm tilting towards the target. Now as much as I try to get my hips back into position in the downswing, for many of you there's just not enough time to do so, I'm out of position, I'm going to take these steep gougy divots and a lot of players this makes you come out and over the top. So we need to talk about how do we keep our hips in position? How do we turn our hips properly to get them into position to allow me to maintain that spine tilt at the top of the backswing? Number one, it all starts in what your knees are doing. I preach this all the time. The trail leg can extend and flex and it can rotate. What many of you are doing is trying to rotate that leg without extending it and it kicks the knee away from the target. Well, guess what? Your knee is directly connected to the ball and socket in your joint through the femur bone. So as soon as that knee moves away from the target, the hips come in with it. So what you need to understand is that the trail leg extends. The extension alone does nothing for us, but allow us to turn the hip in the proper direction. So as my trail leg goes from a flexed position to an extended position, my trail hip can properly turn without sliding, right? As soon as my knee tries to maintain some flex, it makes me personally want to slide away from the target. And I know it's doing that for a lot of you out there. So I'm a guy that's big on analogies, which is why I have my golf bag here today. And I can all but guarantee for many of you out there, if I handed you an ax and I said, go chop down that tree, you could take that ax and you could figure it out pretty quickly the type of strike it takes to chop a tree down. So if we wanted to chop this tree down, I would have to stay in a position to chop into the side of the tree. If my spine tilted in the other direction, now all of a sudden we're chopping wood. We're not really chopping the tree down anymore. So if you feel like you're the type of person that's chopping wood, again, we're trying to get into this position where if I'm cutting this tree down, I feel like I can still swing down into the back side of the tree and chop through versus kicking the hip back, letting the head come forward. Now all of a sudden I'm chopping wood, I'm swinging straight down into the ground. So I want you to practice that analogy. Find some sort of obstacle you can use to practice keeping two things. You're going to keep the hip turning back and you're keeping the head back a little bit to allow yourself to maintain that tilted position. And then you can come over and apply that to some golf shots. So we're going to try to hit this shot out toward the green here. So my big focus is making it feel like I'm chopping that tree down. I'm not losing my spine tilt away from the target. Now 
Nice. So just up the left side of the green, should be putting there. We're gonna try to make that same shallow angle of attack on the ball. Good. Cool, again on the left side of the green. So I think today is a perfect example of how we can take you know, a simple task like chopping a tree down, and maybe you have or have not done it before, but it seems pretty easy to perform. I take this ax and I swing it into the back of a tree, and we can see how that keeps my spine tilted in the proper position to hit a golf ball. So you can really accelerate your learning by using analogies to help you. you know, our goal is to shallow out our angle of attack. We've achieved that by feeling like the body stays in positions to chop this tree down rather than chopping wood. Okay, so take that feel, practice it at home, take it to the driving range, learn it there, and then bring it out to the golf course. You're gonna really enjoy that. Okay, thank you for watching today. Have a great day.